This day just gets better and better. We were just visiting with Joe Covington about hollies. We step across the parking lot, Earthkind roses, all the different roses. Dr. Steve George with Texas A&M with the Texas AgriLife Extension. Did I get that right? Correct. All right. Wonderful. Steve is the father of the Earthkind program. What is that? Earthkind is a new environmental landscape management approach that was developed at uh, Texas A&M. It's all based on sound university research. It's as environmentally responsible as the research data will support and people are hungry for this information. So it's not just the roses, it's all about how we garden. We're going to talk about roses in a second. Now one of the things we need to start with with the rose garden is full sun, good drainage, and good soil and you're going to talk about the soil. The roses that we have designated as Earthkind have incredibly strong genetics, but you're exactly right, they need eight hours of full direct sun, good air movement over the leaves, and roses in general will not tolerate poorly aerated soils. In other words, they won't stand wet feet. So what do we do? Raise the bed, and what in, are your soil methods, in, in, in a heavy clay soil, of course, we, you're right, we raise the bed, and then we have done research on a, on a new product, uh, new to many of your listeners. It's called expanded shale. It's, uh, it's a naturally occurring rock that they mine, and uh, this is the best material we've ever found to open up an aerate heavy clay soils. You only need it in a heavy clay. We used to talk about sand. Sand really doesn't mix well with clay soils, and this will. You need more than just the expanded shale. What right. else? Uh, I, virtually any soil loves the addition of really good, fully composted compost. So in a sandy soil or loam soil, compost is all you need. Tell us about the roses. Now, we have a kind of a wannabe Hope to be. Hope to be. We have an earth kind rose. What is this? Right. This, this, is this is the uh, original knockout. And let me tell you what a uh, arduous ordeal these roses had to go through to be earth kind. For our research, we did no amending of the soil. We just slapped them in this sticky, heavy, highly alkaline clay. They were never fertilized. They were never deadheaded, which is clipping the spent blooms off. They were never pruned and they were never sprayed with any pesticides. And we reduced the irrigation by 70%. These are the most environmentally responsible roses. So that this we've one ever made seen. the first cut years ago. Right. This one is in the fast track, right. probably this, will make it. Correct. This is Pink Knockout. This is in our current research. It's doing right. very, very well. A couple things quickly. You have 21, oh, 22 other varieties other than Red Knockout. Correct and the Rose Garden is in Farmer's Branch. Correct. How do they find it? It's on a, a valley view, uh, about halfway between Josie Lane and 35. Steve, the website for Earthkind Roses. Earthkindroses.tamu.edu. Tells you everything. Shake my you hand, need. man. You're good. Thank you, good sir, research. so much. We'll have more right after this. We're going to that garden. Today we'll be featuring asparagus. I'll be making an asparagus and smoked gruyere quiche, perfect for an Easter brunch. When you're shopping for asparagus, you want to look for a nice compact tip. There's not a lot of wilting. We have a nice green color and it's nice and crisp. 